Hello everyone. Welcome to Feel Good Friends from the Sacre Museum of Medicine. Uh, you're going to need your favourite teddy bear or toy today. I've got mine here. I'm Hannah. And I'm Dr Grubb. Hey Hannah, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I thought we might talk about going to the doctors. Have you ever been to the doctors, Dr Crop? Yes, um, but I was very little, so I actually don't remember much. Well, that, that's all right, but my Teddy, he's just got back from the doctors. He had a fall. Yes, a fall. I think we should sing a little song about it. Teddy bear, teddy bear sat on a wall. Teddy bear, teddy bear had a big fall. My teddy bear was in a lot of pain. Who can mend my favourite teddy again? Do you know? No. Well, I think we should read a book about going to the doctors to find out. Visiting the doctor. I'm at the doctors today with my mummy. I'm going to have a checkup to make sure I'm fit and well. I've brought my teddy with me. There's Sophie and she says, I'm Sophie and she's holding Teddy. This is the waiting room where we wait to see the nurse and doctor. The waiting room has a play area with toys and books. I take Teddy there and read him a story while I wait for my checkup. It's my turn now. A nurse is seeing me first, then I'll meet the doctor. Mummy and Teddy are coming with me. Teddy's having a checkup too. We all go into the consulting room where I'm having my checkup. The nurse weighs me on a scale and measures how much I've grown. Then it's Teddy's turn. I'm taller and heavier than Teddy. I stand still on the scales. Teddy tries to stand very tall. Next I meet Dr. Harrison. She says she wishes she had a teddy like mine. Dr. Harrison has a special sort of torch for looking at my ears. The special torch is called an otoscope. Teddy has his ears checked first. They're fine. Then it's my turn. Mummy holds my hand while I sit very still. The special torch tickles my ears. Then Dr. Harrison listens to my heartbeat with a stethoscope. I have a go first. My heart goes boom, boom, boom. Dr. Harrison puts the stethoscope on my back to check my lungs and breathing too. I sit very, very quietly so she can hear. The round part feels cool on my skin. At the end of my checkup, Dr. Harrison tells me I'm fit and well, and so is Teddy. And she talks to mummy and me about things I can do to stay healthy. So what can Sophie do? Well, she can eat healthy food, she can brush her teeth, she can move about a lot, and she can wash her hands after going to the toilet. Dr. Harrison says, Teddy and I have been very good and very helpful. We both get a sticker because we know all about the doctors now. Sophie wasn't poorly when she went to the doctors. No, she wasn't. She was going for a checkup to check that she was healthy. Oh, well, good job she had her teddy. It is a good job. Have you got your teddies with you? Quick, get them. And we're going to say... Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle them under there. Wait, Dr Croc. Remember that Teddy's got a poorly arm. Oh, poor Teddy. Yes, if you're very poorly, you might have to go to hospital. Teddy had to go to hospital and have an x-ray. An x-ray? What's an x-ray? Well, it's like a special picture that takes a photograph of inside your body. We have one here. Can you see the bones? I've got a book here all about it. Paddington goes to hospital. When they reached the x-ray room, the lady in charge pushed a large machine over the bed and made some adjustments. Now lie very still while I take some pictures, she said, otherwise they will come out blurred. With that, she went to the other side of the room, pressed a button and there was a whirring noise. Cheese, said Paddington. Afterwards, Paddington and Mrs Brown met the doctor again. 
Paddington stared at the pictures on the wall. What's happened to my fur? he exclaimed. I had it when I came in. It's still there, said the doctor. This is a special camera for looking inside people. And bears too, he added hastily. It looks very complicated, said Paddington. I didn't know I had so much inside me. The one on the left shows why your shoulder's hurting, explained the doctor. The bones come out of its socket. We shall need to put you to sleep while we relocate it. Have you had anything to eat since breakfast? asked a nurse. I haven't even had time for a Levenzers, said Paddington. That's good, said the nurse, wiping his arm with something cold. Otherwise, you would have to wait while it settled. Paddington felt a tiny prick and he was about to give the nurse a hard stare when his eyelids began to go droopy. As soon as he was asleep, the doctor turned to Mrs. Brown. We'll soon put things right. He won't feel a thing. And there we can see Paddington all asleep and there's the x-ray of his shoulder. Paddington woke up to find himself in a strange room. Where am I? He asked for the second time that day. You're in a ward with lots of other patients, said Mrs. Brown, and the doctor's put your arm back in its socket. I hope it's pointing the right way, said Paddington, otherwise I shan't know whether I'm coming or going. I've brought you some water, said a nurse. I expect you're feeling thirsty after your operation. I am, said Paddington. He was about to ask for something more exciting to drink, but he couldn't think of the name. Tea, suggested Mrs. Brown. Bless you, said Paddington. I expect they'll keep, they will keep you in overnight for observation, said Mrs. Brown. I don't think I want anyone observing me asleep, said Paddington. I might fall out of bed. Don't worry, said the nurse. The sides lift up to stop that happening. Besides, I shan't be far away, said Mrs. Brown. There's a lot of people that look after you in hospital if you're poorly, just like they did with Paddington. They did, they do indeed. Would you like to look after a patient? <gasps> yes, I do want to be a doctor after all. Very true. <gasps> Here's my friend Fred. And he's in bed because he's just come back from hospital. But he needs to move around a bit to get better. OK, let's do some stretches with Fred. Everyone at home can join along too. Yes! Panda, panda bear, panda, panda bear, bear, turn around. Panda bear, panda bear, touch the ground. Panda bear, panda bear, find your nose. Panda bear, panda bear, wiggle your toes. Panda bear, panda bear, tap your knees. Panda bear, panda bear, sit down please. I think we better took Fred back into bed. We'll see you next time, everyone.